what is going on my good friends so welcome back to another video series so in this series i'll be covering flask admin so i think flask admin is one of the powerful things that flask has had being constructed apart from sql alchemy and such i think flask admin is really nice and i already love i really love it so in this first video i won't be covering anything to do with flask admin because at some point we we can only use flask admin as a means if we have authenticated and can check that we are admin so that is why in this video i've dedicated this video to build the authentication part so if you already know how to build authentication know that i'll be using g instead of just the default session because i want to be sharing data with, across several ad, several requests so i'll be using g at before request before request in flask so if you know how to do all those then you can skip this first video but if you are again watching this video just for that then you can check out in this video i'll be following a guide given in community forum inside digital ocean so if you know that you can follow this then it will be really nice so you can skip this first video and just go to the second video after doing this but if you'd like to do it with me then welcome aboard let us get into it so the first thing we want to start with i know it's weird but i guess that is who i am i want us to start by building our templates so the first thing you want to do is so here is where we step four. I'll be starting with step four. So we create our templates. We want to create index, login, and sign up because our profile, we won't be having anything to do with the profile in this because it's just authentication for our admin panel. So the first thing you want to do is just make inside your template create this. So where do you place your templates? So I've already done that because I didn't want to waste much time. So where you define your application the same folder you have this app name that is the directory you always want to have templates folder and also static folder so that is where i'll be placing you see i have base index login and sign up they are exactly what they are over here except that i've changed my roads to match what i'll be creating so you see actually over here is login but i wanted to use an a, a route that is dynamic so that's why i did say I did use URL for to get dynamic routes. So I'm posting to these routes. So everything is actually the same, only that I'm making sure that the routes are dynamic. So go and build those templates very fast and just come back over here. So I leave the link, it's in the description, go and do that. So the next thing we want now to do is install flask login so here is how to install flask login so just pip install flask login inside your over here i believe maybe i already have it let me just test and see pip install flask login and you see i have it will install everything templating in check if templating engines already exist i believe you know ginger 2 templating engine so i won't be covering anything to do with those because i assume that you already good in those so th the next thing now we want to go and do is inside our settings there are some parameters that we need to have the first one is the flask login uses something called secret so this video i'm extending from what i did in the in one of my series for building graphene out if you don't know then just go and check that out i i build graphene api endpoint using flask so just go and check out so this is it i'm setting the secret key over here another thing we want to do is we want to define something that will be a method that will be called every time before any request is made so i'll just or let me just make the login manager first here i'll just say login Oh, let me just copy them over here that's why i was telling you if you know how to do this then it will be easier just to copy this bring it over here i don't want to make your life harder than it already is <laughs> okay just paste them over here then just make sure you import this from flask login i'm using pycharm and sometimes our import is easy for me if you're using another editor then you might want to consider checking it then another thing you want now to do is register your login manager view because i it's not must but i think it's always a good idea so you just want to do this 
and just say that this dot login view to be the login so we will create a view for login and we will be calling the method login that's why you see i'm doing it over here and again inside the templates i did call it login because i'm 100 percent sure i'll be calling it that now another thing you want now to do is as i said before is method to be called before every before every request so we will call it just def and then just say before request so this is where basically we'll be getting our user so we'll be storing our user inside the session which flask and flask login will help us get the user but they will now be saying that g.user is current user so this current user comes from the same place where flask login manager is so we'll be using we'll be setting the login manager in our login so that's why right now i'm using this import this from flask just flask over here flask import g so that we can be passing variable for our user so every variable you want to be passing to a method that you want to define before every request then you can be placing it over here i hope that is clear another thing now you want to do is make our login manager user loader because we want to that is something that our login manager requires if you don't define then you might just end up getting an error so you want to do this and then just say user loader and then just say def user loader we call it user loader and it takes in the id of the user because that is what will be encoded to the user and then just return user i hope you know this so the first thing let me first show you i'm using this user which we made in the previous video but you see i've added some few fields which is admin and verified so this will be if you make something that user need to verify their email then you could have this so that before user can verify email then they don't log in and then you see i'm just using user mixing which i'm importing from the flask login view so you can just make those very fast i almost forgot but make sure you're using user mixing because this will help us to check if user is authenticated and some other things that we have not defined over here but flask login requires so now we can just get, say our user dot query and then just get and then just get let us first convert our id to that so we are getting user and then we just querying so i hope you know <laughs> that should not even be something i'm explaining so another thing you want now to do is clean up this code just to have everything nice so go over inside your out and create a new file called view.py so view.py as seen over here now here is where we'll be defining our method so i'll just say app dot route and then this will basically be our index which i know our index in this case will just be a page and empty but it, it will be returning this index so just to define def index to be something that just renders the index template that way so import this from flask renderer template and just import this again from your main settings configured settings or wherever you have it i'm putting this over there I, I was hearing somebody say they confuse and i still re really do that so and then just add up the route and then now here you want to place your login so i'm defining my login method in short so and then i just come over here i hit this dev login and then over here we will just be rendering our login template because here we are not handling post request i'll make something different to handle the post request and then we want to do for sign up and let's just call it the same thing sign up and then here we know we are rendering sign up dot html now we want to make methods for handling sign up post and login post so i'll just say up i like i like this more than i know i like copying more than i can ever 
and then just call it we here we need to define that these are those methods just be post methods okay. method to be post so let me just copy these and make one for login over here only that this is again for login post so like sign up now we'll call it login post and over here let us call it sign up post so this will basically handle form submission and again this is for form submission and over here we need to say that this is the route is login so here we now need to handle the content so we need to get whenever somebody is logging in we know that they will be having if you can go check the form go and check the template very fast the that we created from flask import requests very fast over here so we are getting email from the post password and remember so this will be used to check if you need to remember the session so that is really simple and then we finally need to get the user for the email that was just passed let us import this from our model and then we are getting the email and then we are checking if the user does not we are checking the user we just got against the password that was passed so we are checking the password hash from wagzag so we check the password against the password and then if the password doesn't match then we return some uh, nice error like please check your login details and wherever just import that from flask and then import again redirect from flask and then we are getting we are returning them to the login view which in this case is this so that they can log in but now with some nice formatted with some nice error now else if there is no error that happened we can just make sure that we log in the user and add g.user to be the current user though i don't think this is that important but you could do it but you can decide to leave it over here but i prefer normally just putting it just in case something happens it doesn't hurt then just format everything so these will log in the user to the session and then these will add the g.user the current logged in user because this current user will just know where to get the user and then we this was something we had before and then we just returning them to index page because we've logged them in now let us create the sign up so we need to get the password and wherever and wherever and wherever i did extend i added password one and password two in the form so if you don't have them just know that you might need because that is normally almost the standard way of building web applications so after that we need to check that the two passwords are the same so you see i'm checking that the two, pa two passwords are the same if they are not then i say password mismatch and then just return them to the sign up and then i check the user if the user already exists with this email then you don't need to clear them again you tell them that they already exist and then if user.query again has with the username exists then you pass the error you check the email and the username if the user passes all the above then you just need to create the user so just make the user to be this and then just password you know you need to hash it so that's why i'm using the password gen hash generator over here and then i'm just db.session because that is the session my database session i'm using you could if you are using db.session it works just fine you could just be saying db.session or whatever you call your db but mine i'm using the base sql alchemy i'm not using the flask alchemy sql alchemy i'm using the base alchemy directly so that's why i'm using base.session so if you've not watched again that video then you can go and check how i configured my database very fast it's over here i'm not using the normal way just to let you know and then you just save the user and then you, after you created them then you wanted to direct them to a page that they can at least sign up login now not sign up again so let's create a method for logging out so you want again user to at least be able to log out so i have a method over here i've created it route is for login log out and then 
user is required to be logged in so that's why i'm importing it again from the same 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 place we've been importing all the rest for authentication just import login required so this is every method you ever make actually that require user authentication you need just to add to add this decorator and it will just make sure that and then again these you import from the same place so this is handling this will delete the user from the session and then you just direct them redirect them to, to the index page which in our case i know i haven't created it or i, I made it <laughs> now let us go and use this so to avoid circular imports i normally place define my app in a different place that's why i'm using modular forms for config over here and then inside my app i'll just need to come and just say from out the views just import everything so that you see because i had imported app you see right away as i after i did that then this app which i imported on top becomes useless because the views also contain app so that's why you want to always make sure that you, you are building your app in a way that you won't be doing circular imports. Just make sure you do that and then let us run this. Hopefully it works. Methods. Uh, methods. I did methods instead of methods. <laughs> that was nasty. Okay, I'm doing equal to instead of just methods. So let me run again okay now we have it over here let us go to our url 127 5000 and the first thing we get that index which is a good indicator and then now let's go to login and let's try logging in this user if it exists method not allowed for requested you are oh I, it's the method over here so it need to be post because you see our sign up post and then again for login it, so whatever this i'm doing then so it need to be post and post again over here and then just refresh the server and now let us go and try running this and you see check the out login details and try again now let us try signing up for instance, I pass something like you know, this new username in the email and the password to be this. And you see, our user was probably created and that's why we are directed here. So you might want again to add some message like after user was created, then you want to over here to just flash some message that user was created and log in. But I just assume that for now because it's easy. And then just this user and log in. And you see we are directed to we get an error users no attribute query yeah. settings i did query. okay it's over here it's supposed to be user dot query uh, get i'm forgetting that so we want to get for that so it's query dot get hopefully now finally it works now you see we logged in the user we had I'm, I'm sure though i don't have a way to show you but you could decide to get a user and show them over here but i'm sure i was logged in because you see the whole process was good so in the next video i'll be covering now the admin panel so please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you love it so goodbye and let us meet in the next video